my name is Jacob Marlin. I'm the executive director of BeFree, Lee's Foundation for Research and Environmental Education. BeFree owns and operates a field station here at the foothills of the Maya Mountains in southern Belize, which is where I'm talking to you from at this very moment. Many of you, particularly coming from the more civilized parts of the world, hopefully understand that every time you flush the toilet, you're using the same water to mix with your waste that disappears down the tubes into the chasms of the earth that you use to brush your teeth with, and you use to cook with, and you use to shower with. It's the same fresh potable water. And in today's world of ever-shrinking natural resources, particularly um, good, clean, fresh water, it seems like an awful waste, don't you think so? Well, here at Be Free, we've come up with a slightly different mechanism in order to deal with our human solid waste uh, needs, or the disposal of those solid wastes. Now, what we have here behind me is a four-stall composting bathroom facility. Um, built right here at Be Free. Basically, the concept is that human waste is dropped through the toilet seat into a cement large bin. The bo bottom of the bin is slanted slightly um, on both ends towards the center, where a perforated four inch PVC tube runs at a slight declining sort of slope, um, so that all the waste that's put into the bin. Um, any of that liquid waste dribbles through the perforated tube and then out to a seepway outside the, the bathroom facility. What's left is dry human, uh, human feces, and after each use, we add a can of sawdust, and periodically we add leaf litter, creating a dry, sort of organic material. Once one of the bins is full, after maybe six months or a year of use, um, the the door is locked closed and that bin's not used for a year while the material composes. There's also a vent in each one of the stalls, a vent that carries the, the odor up and away. And because most of the liquid within the urine and feces drains out, the, uh, the drain at the bottom, there's much less smell because a lot of that smell comes from uh, liquid, liquid manure. Um, so as it dries, the smell is very minimal. Um, other than that, it's a really very simple design. It's sort of been used for centuries by people all over the world. And it just seems like a very logical way to deal with our human waste. Because after, after a year of composting, we can then take out through the back, through a doorway, we can remove the material and we can use it to compost on our coffee trees or our cacao trees or other types of fruiting trees. So, come to be free and help support us by giving a shit for conservation. Thank you and have a lovely day. <laughs> Goodbye.